promises to someone else's face if those should break I know you're thinking about laying side by side on a goodwill couch To get started with the chords we're going to have our capo on the second fret and we're going to be using chords in the key of D major Starting off with the D major we'll have an open D string pointer finger on the second fret of the G ring finger on the third fret of the B and middle finger on the second fret of the high E Next is going to be a D major 7, which is going to bar the 2nd fret of the high 3 strings, the G, the B, and the E, and then an open D string. Next will be a D7, which will have an open D string, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the G, pointer finger on the 1st fret of the B, and ring finger on the 2nd fret of the high E. Next will be an E minor 7, which will have an open low E, pointer middle on the 2nd fret of the A and D strings, and ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B. Next is an A7, which will have an open A string, pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the D, and middle finger on the 2nd fret of the B. Next will be a G, which will have our middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E, pointer on the 2nd fret of the A, ring on the 3rd fret of the B, and pinky on the 3rd fret of the high E. And you can also play this in the verse as a G suspended. We're just going to have our middle on the 3rd fret of the low E, and then your pointer finger can go on the 1st fret of the B string. Last but not least is a G minor 6 chord, which will have your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E. We're going to mute the A string, pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the D, and ring and pinky on the 3rd frets of the G and B strings. And this can also be played in the G bar shape, which will have your pointer finger barring the low E, as well as the G, B and E strings on the 3rd fret, and your ring and pinky on the 5th frets of the A and D. For the verse, we'll need our D, D major 7, D7, our G suspended, and then our G minor 6. For the picking pattern, we're going to have our thumb on the root of the chord, and our pointer and middle on the high B and E strings for our D, D major 7, and D7. And for the G suspended and the G minor 6, we're going to have our thumb on the low E, and our pointer and middle on the G and B strings. So starting off on our D major, we're going to pluck with our thumb, then pointer, then the thumb will move up to the G string, and then middle. And then you can repeat that a little bit faster, you'll start to hear the flow of the actual riff. Now that's the main picking pattern that you use throughout this song. It's also called Travis style picking and is super useful in lots of situations. So make sure you learn this one. So starting off on your D, you'll play the picking pattern twice. D major 7 twice, to D7 twice, but on the last time you pluck the high E, you're going to place your pinky on the third fret of the high E and pluck that. Now this final measure is going to sound like this. So you're going to pluck with your pinky, then thumb, then you'll play the second fret of the high E, then thumb then open high E, then pinky will go to the 3rd fret of the B string, then thumb, and then we'll play an open B string. So slowly it'll sound like this. So now all together the first half of the riff will sound like this. So then finally moving to our G, we're going to have our thumb now on the low E, and when it moves up, it'll move up to the D string, and then our pointer and middle will be on the G and B strings. We'll play two cycles on the G, but then just like before when we get to that last strike on the B string, we're going to place our pointer finger on the first fret of the B and do a pull-off. 
And then as we pull off, we'll continue on playing the Travis picking on the G. For two more cycles, and then to our G minor six for two. So the second half of the riff will sound like this. So now the whole thing. And that can be used for the intro with one cycle through and the outro one cycle through, but also in the verses. So with lyrics, it'll sound like this. You're making promises to someone else's face If those should break Call out my name You're getting high off some new life That you made If that heart fades Call out my name and that second time you can either play the G minor six or just strum a normal G minor bar. Moving into the chorus, the first two lines will be exactly the same. We're gonna go from an E minor to an A7 to D to G. Then we'll repeat that one more time. Then for the third line, we'll go from the E minor seven to the A7 to a D, but we're gonna walk our way down to a G over B. So we're going to play a D, then we'll place our pinky on the fourth fret of the A string to make a C sharp, and then we'll walk our way down to a G over B, which is a normal G, where we're gonna let the second fret of the A string ring out. So the walk down will go. And then we'll go from an E minor to an A7, and then back into the first fret. We're gonna be using the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So with the chords, it'll sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. When we get to the walk down from the D to the G over B, we'll strike down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then E minor the A7 ring and then back into verse 2. So with lyrics, it'll sound like this. I know you think about laying side by side on a goodwill couch Oh, in line for line at your best friend's house I'm only getting better at pretending we're okay After all this time Now you should know how to play the entire song. So thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in seeing more tutorials from the brand new album Justice, I've got one for Off My Face and for Lifetime. Those will be up there in the corner or in the description below. And make sure to subscribe as well because I plan on putting a lot more out in the future. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.